Ah, oh, hello there, fans. It's me, Barry Steak Fries. All right, so this week I thought I'd look at some more questions that all my fans have sent through. And uh, we've got a few here from the original Jetpack Joyride trailer. Tishy says, How the hell do you manage to compress that much ammunition into such a tiny space? Also, the recoil isn't strong enough to make you fly at such speeds, and how would you control it? Well, listen, Tishy. Two words for you. Science. And how do you know what recoil is strong enough? Are you captain of the recoil community band? That's right. You strap two miniguns to your back and you see if you can do it. If you're so smart, hey, just leave it maybe to the professionals, to the science guys. Like me, Barry Steak Fries. I know what I'm doing, fans. All right, I think we can all agree on that, at the very least. All right, my friends, time for an exciting new segment here on the Barry blog uh, called Let's Play, where I start playing a computer game and make comments on it, because that seems to be what the kids are into for some reason. So let's pick a game out of the hat. This one is Jetpack Joyride. All right, let's go. Strap it on in. That, no, that was that's all right. That's just a practice run. All right, here we go. Ah, come on! You're not, you're not supposed to touch the yellow things. I think in the old version you were supposed to touch it. I'm pretty sure. Normally, I'm really, really good at this. Obviously, it's been a little while, so I've been busy with my solo album. Let's get straight into it today. There's been a few comments floating around on the on the same uh, the same topic. So let's just let's just knock this on the head right now. First comment here from Dracommon. Barry's voice doesn't sound as I expected, honestly. I hoped I like more manly voice, like in the rock operas. Half Brick used that guy's voice. The one in the songs. Robot Bird, for example. Well, Dracommon, you're right. You're right, that guy had an awesome voice and they totally should have used that guy. He was great, wasn't he so manly? I just love the way he sings, sings that stuff, you know. I got a robot bird that shoots money! That was awesome, the way he sung that. Um, I need some new shirt sleeves, please! That was great as well. That guy rules. Love that guy, they should totally bring him in. Rainbow Jetpack, at the moment, got to be one of my favourites right now, no idea how it works, but I've got to tell you, you just can't be angry while you're using that one. It's great, it's fun, smooth, colourful, uh, not that intimidating, if I'm going to be picky, not uh, not really um, not really likely that you're going to appear as a, as a credible threat when you're, all you're packing is some uh, refracted light. Look, I'll just I'll just start from the beginning for you guys. Uh, I was trying to I was trying to tee up a gig, basically, trying to trying to tee up one of my famous Barry Steak Fries rock operas. And uh, this time I was thinking, let's make it let's make it epic. I promised something extra special. Barry Steak Fries delivers. So I thought, where's the best place in Australia to do an opera? Well, Sydney Opera House had to be, had to be the Sydney Opera House. So off I went. Took the old jetpack to Darling Harbour to ask him about booking the opera house, and uh, honestly, I didn't I didn't quite anticipate the reaction uh, that I got. Uh, police were called, uh, people were taking photos. It, it really got out of control very fast. Uh, just just have a look, guys. Hello, hello. I'd like to I'd like to speak to the manager, please. Just trying to book a gig Thursday night, hopefully. Anyone there? I'm very steak fries. 
Hey, hey, guys, guys, sorry. I'm just trying to, just trying to keep this gig a surprise. Can you guys just put the cameras away? What do you mean I need a permit to fly here? I'm very safe, right? Six hundred bucks just for taking a stolen jetpack for a spin around the harbour. I mean, no, 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 it's not stolen. It's not stolen. No, no, I'm not Barry. I'm uh, Larry. I'm Larry Steak Fries. Don't touch me! Did you know that a few days ago it was the eight year anniversary of Jetpack Joyride? That's right. The folks over at Half Brick have been bringing you loyal fans gazillions of Jetpack Joyrides for over eight years. To celebrate, they're releasing several events over September. The first one is Cut and Run Event, which is out now. The second one is the Zappy Bird event, which will happen on the 12th of September. And on the 20th of September, we're back to the Back to the Future event, which we already did a bit back, but it's back in the near future now. Uh, and while we're on the subject of everyone's favourite Endless Runner, I should mention there's some totally cool Christmas goodies that are live right now in Jetpack Joyride. The Sam to Sam is back. This time it's a reward, so that's awesome. Uh, and there's some other Christmassy goodies that you can purchase, so check that out, everybody. You're welcome. G'day, friends. Barry Steak Fries here, and on behalf of Half Brick, wishing everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope that Santa Jetpack Joyrides his way to your place with some goodies. Except, probably on a sleigh instead of a jetpack. Happy New Year! Your New Year's resolution should be to subscribe to the Half Brick channel. Keep watching Barry, keep commenting, and uh, tell your friends. Tell your friends that there's some great entertainment to be had over at the Half Brick channel. Make sure you subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Tell your friends to watch Barry Steak Fries. Because if they don't watch, then it's just me talking to myself. Get ready for some strategies some gameplay tips from a pro, me, Barry Steak Fries. <laughs> so here we go. All right, so here we are in the game. This is what it looks like. That's what Barry Steak Fries looks like. Pretty good looking, as you would expect. And he's been challenged by Dan the Man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are in for a treat today. It's the grudge match, traditional rivals. Dan the Man versus Barry Steak Fries. Barry Steak Fries would have to be the early favourite here as he plants some skeletons to get us started and what a surprise, Dan the Man doing exactly the same thing as Barry. He's always been riding my coattails, ladies and gentlemen. That's typical. We'll see if this bazooka can sort him out and a bit of a cold snap to boot. There you go. Oh, and look at that. Dan the Man's come back with the same thing. What a surprise. Bet he builds some walls at some point as well. Yep, there we go classic. So here comes Dan Skeletons, no match from a witch doctor. And at this early stage, ladies and gentlemen, I'd say that Barry Steak Fries has well and truly got things under control. Look at those blue metal looking walls. He's not getting past them easily. I can tell you that. Not now that I've got a cannon. Let's blast him out with a cannon. Barry Steak Fries. He is on the front foot early, taking the initiative. I thought the cannon might fire some stuff a bit further than that, but anyway, it doesn't matter. These couple of skeletons will take care of business. Whack through Dan's walls. Oh, ow! Ouch. Okay. Well, he froze my skeletons, but I'm not going to be perturbed by that. We have another bazooka bloke ready to blast him out. And those blue walls are standing strong. Barry Steak Fries under, with, a, with the game under control at this early stage, ladies and gentlemen. This is how it's done. For all those wondering how to beat down Dan the Man once and for all. You're getting a lesson. Look at that laser. That's going to take your oh, It's gone. They don't last long, do they? Ah, uh, that skeleton's not getting through, mate. I don't think so. What's that guy with the big ears? Another cannon will take care of him. And some more blue walls. Ladies and gentlemen, Barry Steak Fry is sitting pretty at this stage. Not too worried about Dan the Man's offense. He can attack all he wants. He's not going to get past some more. Some more of my cold snap. I don't think so, Daniel. Got that big pirate guy, that's a slight worry, but I'm not I'm not too concerned, ladies and gentlemen, with less than a minute left. Barry Steak Fries has it well and truly under control here. Unless that guy gets through. Oh no! Oh no, he's through! No! Stop! Go away! Ah oh, no! Damn it! I'm losing! 
Oh, how did this happen? <coughs> oh, oh, I'm choking on my own, on my own rage. Um, all right, cannon. I've got to, i got to do something here. Sorry, I did not. Ex I was really, I was being very complacent. Oh, 30 seconds left. Oh my god. Um, uh, um, thing. Th that guy. Uh, plant one of them. Um, skeletons. Send skeletons. Oh, no, man. I got nothing. He's eyes oh, hitting my guys. Laser. Skeletons, go! Hurry up! Run! He, he took another point off me! When did he do that? I didn't even see that! I am yelling dinosaur things at him now. Yeah, took one sec. Okay, um. Well. Yeah. I. I did not see that coming. Ouch! That hurts. That really hurts. Um. Phew! So that's how you play. Uh, <laughs> I did not expect to lose. That is, that's really throwing a curveball at me, guys. Can we maybe can we can we erase that and replace it with a game with like with a, with one of the games where I win? I totally win, like almost all the time. No, we we can't. All right. 